Devo, we're going to take a look at Hosea chapter 11, verse one. Now, did you know that Hosea means salvation? And it's quite fitting. The story of Hosea is one of love and mercy and forgiveness of redemption. And so when we think of Hosea, he was a prophet of God, faithful, and he was instructed to marry a prostitute named Gomer, who would be unfaithful to Hosea throughout their marriage, breaking his heart. Yet Hosea's love for his wife remained strong. He was faithful to her and he lovingly received her and forgave her time after time. This is often a parallel to the way our Father in Heaven loves us. We see it in the Old Testament, the way God would love His people, the Israelites, even though time after time they would forget Him. We think about how God promised Abraham that he would have as many descendants as the stars, how he called his people out of Egypt, out of slavery and bondage, how he provided for them in the wilderness, but how the Israelites would forget. They would forget their first love. They would grumble and complain and worship false idols, breaking God's heart. Yet his love for them remained strong. He had a wonderful and miraculous plan, and it started long ago. So let's take a look in Hosea 11.1. 1. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt, I called my son. God had a plan for our salvation from the beginning. His plan was his son, Jesus. You know, we can look at the Israelites and we can see how they time after time forgot God, but isn't that a lot like what we do? We can love God and praise Him with our mouths only to grumble and complain when things aren't going our way, thinking God's forgotten us. Or maybe we're on our knees in prayer when times are hard, yet when things are going well, we completely forget Him. All of those are things that I know break God's heart, but his love and faithfulness and goodness to us remain strong. And it's through his son, Jesus, his son, the son of God, born humbly to a unwed teenage virgin named Mary and Joseph, and then to grow up to become savior of the world, to die on the cross, to pay the price for our sins so that we no longer are separated from God. God's incredible, miraculous plan. And he told it through the prophet Isaiah, the plan that even though Herod tried to destroy Herod, remember the king? That as soon as he found out that the king of the Jews had been born, had set a horrible decree that every baby boy two years and younger would be killed. God had sent an angel to Joseph in a dream to tell him to take Jesus and his mother into Egypt. Let's take a look at that. It's in Matthew chapter two, verse 15. And here it says, they stayed there, Egypt, until Herod's death, so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. Matthew recognized this incredible prophecy back written long, long ago in the book of Hosea. Seeing God had an incredible plan, an incredible gift for you and me so our sins could be forgiven so that we would then have salvation. We would have the promise of heaven one day. It's a beautiful gift and all we have to do is receive it.